Hi guys, my name's Andy and welcome to an absolute beginner's first guitar lesson. Now, I've done one of these before, but the idea of my first guitar lesson, 10 songs with E and A, is that you, that's the easiest thing that we can play on guitar and also play 10 songs with it. The idea with this guitar lesson is this is the absolute easiest thing that you can play on acoustic guitar to get your fingers used to this new thing that you're trying to get them to do. You know, maybe this is the absolute first time that you've ever held a guitar before. You're not happy with any of the things that you've learnt already. You don't think it sounds right. And all I can say to you is, you are not alone. When I first started playing guitar, my brother taught me a couple of chords. He was older than me, he played a little bit, and I didn't get any of it. I just thought guitar was the coolest thing in the world, but I thought this is never going to be for me. It's just, it's just too difficult. Um, and what I want you to do, I just implore you, don't give up. Please try this, what I'm about to show you today, which is another two chords, but they're the absolute easiest two chords that we can play on guitar and there's two songs that we can play with them two parts of songs anyway but it at least gets you it gets you playing along to me it's going to get you playing something that you're happy with on your own and uh, let's get you straight in for a close-up and have a look at these two chords just quickly before we learn our first chord we're just going to make sure our guitar's in tune so let's play string six and it should sound like this. String five. String four. String three. String two. And finally, string one, the thinnest one. If your guitar doesn't sound like that, you're going to need to check out this tuning video. Um, or get a guitar tuner, get a friend to tune your guitar for you, or you can use the Guitar Tuner app, which is a free app available on iPhone, and it's really cool and free. Um, so this is our first chord. Once your guitar's in tune, we're going to go our first chord. Here it is. This is an E minor. Probably, well, it is the absolute easiest chord to play on guitar, no doubt about it. Uh, we have our first finger at the second fret of string five so this is the thickest string this is string five and we need to use these kind of frets as coordination so this area here is fret one this is fret two string five of fret two with your first finger absolutely has to be with your first finger uh, the second finger then goes directly underneath it at string four also at second fret so your first finger might want to be around in the middle of the fret and then second finger uh, sort of as far towards this side of the fret as possible. If they're both over this side of the fret, those two strings just ain't going to be ringing out. And then we press down on those two strings and leave a good amount of space around here. The idea is we want to be able to get a pencil through this area here, okay? If we're touching the bottom of the guitar like this, None of those strings are going to be ringing out at all. And this is the main problem people will have with the E and A video, the E major and A major video. They're just not leaving the space here and they're not staying on the tips of their fingers. So from this angle, we're staying right on the tips of our fingers. And that's what we want to be doing to make sure these chords sound great. When we give it a strum, all six strings, there's our E minor chord. Because it is a minor chord, it does sound sad, but remember, we're getting our fingers used to this new task that we're asking them to do. And if you even check out my fingers, yes, I have big lines in my fingers too. It hurts a little bit to begin with when they're quite soft and unusual, not used to it. But you'll build calluses within a few days, and certainly within two weeks, there will, your fingers will be nice and hardened up, and it will be absolutely fine. Our second chord... We just move these first two fingers down one string. And then for now, so that we're strumming in time and changing chord in time, you can strum all six strings and it will sound absolutely fine. The preference would be to strum from string five and not strum this thickest string because, as in my previous video, or my absolute beginner's first video, the E and the A video, this is our E string, this is our A string, and this is why this first chord is called an E, and why the second chord I've showed you just now is called an A. 
because the lowest note we want heard is either the E string or the A string. Um, let's just go back to that first chord, your E major chord, play it along with me, strum all six strings and make sure it sounds like this. If it does, you're doing it right. If not, you're not quite on the tips of your fingers or your fingers might not be quite at the right fret, so they're both at the second fret, first fret here, second fret on the tips of your fingers, leaving a good amount of space here, and then they both move down to string three and four. You can strum all six strings, or if you want to try and improve slightly, you can strum that fifth string. But let's get you straight on to how to play these two chords in a chord sequence, and let's learn our two songs. So we've learned our chords, now we're just going to have a quick refresher about bars and beats so that you can play this chord sequence on your own or you can play along to me and it's going to sound great. So the beat is a pulse going through the music that is always there in the background and it's a regular pulse which we put to a count of one, two, three, four. And that count of four is our beat. So maybe you've nodded your head to a song before or you've tapped your foot to a song that is the beat that's what we're playing to and the beat has to be regular now we can play different rhythms or different strumming patterns over that beat but the count of one two three four always remains the same and it's always they're always equidistant to each other they're always even so uh, we're going to take our first chord our e minor chord with your first two fingers and we're going to strum all six strings and we're just going to strum it to a count of one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to keep that going just to get the idea that this strumming has to be regular. It has to be maintained at the same tempo, at an even tempo. So I will count you in. You're going to play along to me. And we're going to play together just this E minor chord till I tell you to stop. So on beat one, keep strumming. In, two three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, keep that going, so we're strumming all six strings, and we're definitely making sure that we've got the thinnest couple of strings ringing out, so that it sounds really good, and let's pause there. Now again, we can hear that that's a minor sound, so the second chord that we're going to go for our A sus2, again just with your first two fingers on strings 4 and 3 at the second fret, this one's going to sound a little happier, a little better, and again we're just going to strum on every beat. So let's give it a go, along to me on beat 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, Four, all six strings. One, two, three, keep it going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and stop there. Now, of course, it's going to sound slightly better if we play this A chord without the fifth string, but it can be really difficult to miss out that fifth string in these early stages and it's just not the priority at the moment the priority is being able to change between these two chords and keep the strumming even now to do that we're going to choose a bar of e minor and then play a bar of your a sus2 so a bar of the first chord one bar of the second and we're going to keep strumming on every beat but we have to maintain this strumming and keep it even when you change chord so we're going to just have to slow everything down quite a bit maybe. But this is the equivalent of zooming in on something so we can really see what's going on, get the motions correct and get you playing guitar in the right way. So just as an example of what we're going to go for, it's going to be one, two, three on your first chord. And then we change to Aces two, two, three, four, our second chord but we have to keep everything even. And we're kind of looking for the, the kind of speed of a ticking clock. So every second that goes past, 
that's when you strum. If it could be a little bit faster, that's going to be great. But to start with, just to get the analogy, a ticking clock is never going to change tempo. It's going to be totally even, and that's what we're going for to start off with. Okie dokie. So one bar of E minor, one bar of A minor on every beat. And let's give it a go now to a really slow count, about one per second. From the first chord, in two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Second chord, in two, three. Back to the first chord. One, two, three, four. In two, three. Four, one, two, three, and change. A, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three. Final time. One, two, three, four, and end there. Hopefully that was something you could keep up with. If you couldn't, as I say, all is not lost. Do not worry about it. What you've got to do is just strum on beat one. So it's the same task that we're asking as left hand to do, or your chord hand to do, but we're just strumming once. This just gives you that little bit more time to change. As an example, one, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. Back to the first chord. Two, three, four. A sus two, three, four. And when we're playing along to these songs in a second, that's what you can do. It's a much easier task, but as soon as you can, really try and get onto every beat because we can basically play almost every songbook song ever um, just by playing on the beat. No matter what the strumming pattern is, you can always pull it back to just doing one, two, three, four every time. And it's a great way to train yourself to follow chord sequences and to get a handle on how songs work. So uh, let's have a look at the actual songs themselves now. The first one is the verse of Little by Little by Oasis. It was a hit around 2002, 2003 maybe. And it's again, one bar of your E minor, one bar of Asus 2. And we loop that and the verse goes. We the people fight for our existence. We don't claim to be perfect, but we're free. Now there's other sections to that song and lots of other chords in it, but the verses, this is something that you can just put on the record or find that video on YouTube and just play along to it, which is a, a really powerful skill that when I've come across people who've been playing maybe for a couple of years and have a good amount of technique, but they haven't played along to the record, they always feel like there's something missing. There's Riffs never sound the way they want them to sound. Songs never sound finished. They haven't played a song all the way through maybe. And this is the skill that they're lacking, playing along to the record and playing along with other people. So let's have a go at doing this, basically under distraction. Do the same skill you were doing before, the same two chords, same rhythm, but I'm trying to distract you by singing over it and that's how we're gonna be playing songs. It's the same job for you guys. Ready on your E minor chord? In two, three, four. E minor, two, three, Asus two. One, two, three, four. Keep that going. Three, change. One, two. Okay, keep that going. We the people fight for our existence. Keep it going. E minor. One, to be perfect, but we're free. Two, three. We dream our dreams, no, no resistance. Two, three, four. Fading like the stars we wish to be. And then three, four. Stop there. That is all of that song that we can do. This was the main idea behind the two chords and ten songs idea so that we could play along to a lot more songs. But as I say, this is the absolute easiest thing that we can play on guitar and we want to make sure we've got all six strings ringing out and you can change chord while keeping an even tempo with your right hand.
Now let's take a look at our second song, which is Breathe in the Air by Pink Floyd. Again, it's the exact same chord sequence, so you're doing the exact same thing. No capo needed or anything like that. But this one's even slower, actually. And this is for the vast majority of the song, all the introduction and most of the verses. There's just a little section kind of halfway through and towards the end where it changes chord a little bit. So to give you an example of what we're going for, one, two, three, four, change, two. So again, same thing, but a little slower. Breathe, breathe in the air. So let's keep that same thing going. And again, you're going to play along to me. I'm going to sing the lyrics to show you what it's going to be like when you play along to the actual song itself, which would be a really great thing to do. As I say, it's the most beneficial skill you can learn once you've got a couple of chords learned. Okie dokie, let's go for it. I'll count you in from your D minor chord in two, three, four. One, two, three, and change. One. So this one's much slower. Three, E minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Here we go. One. Breathe, breathe in the air. Two, three, four. One. Don't be afraid to care. Three, four. Leave, but don't leave me. Three, four, look around and choose your own ground. Three, and pause there. So uh, all the instrumental section for the first couple of minutes of that song as well, you can strum along to, try and find the beat with it. And um, that, there are two songs for today. So as I say, from here, once you're happy with the sound of this, go straight on to my first lesson of the level one of my beginner's course, which teaches you E major and A major, which are two far happier chords. And that's why we can play at least 10 songs with them. And I'm going to be doing more than those in, in the coming weeks. Um, then check out the rest of my beginner's course, which will teach you more chords from there. And we'll get you playing guitar in the absolute easiest way possible using real songs. All of my lesson content is in the songs themselves. And we're doing some strumming lesson videos if you'd like some help on those. Please subscribe if you, this lesson's helped you, if you like what, what I've done. Uh, please spread the word with all your friends and share it on social media. And uh, hopefully I will see you again. Bye bye for now.